here's a summary of what we'll be covering in this project today. We'll start with a brief introduction to the inverse design method. Then we'll be looking at how an axial turbine rotor can be designed using the 3D inverse design approach. Then we'll evaluate the aerodynamic and mechanical performance of the turbine based on CFD and FEA analysis. Then we'll see how the efficiency of the baseline rotor can be enhanced while ensuring structural integrity through the use of automatic optimization with inverse design. And finally, we'll wrap up with some concluding remarks. So let's start with an introduction to the idea behind the inverse design approach which we use throughout this project. As you can see in this work, these are the inputs that are used by the inverse design method to give us the final blade design. So apart from some basic design parameters, these blade loading inputs are really flow related. And so once you have a good understanding of your specific flow issue, whether it's profile loss, step leakage loss, or uh, shocks that you are dealing with, it's possible to come up with guidelines on the optimum blade loading to tackle each of these issues. And actually this know-how has generality which makes it suitable for all your turbine applications. And so what's interesting then is that you only need to rely on your knowledge of flow physics and then this method will work for you regardless of your turbine size or which specific speed regime it falls under. So this makes the entire process very intuitive and removes any empiricism that's commonly seen in conventional design methods. Now let's look at the design of turbines in a bit more detail. So across the specific speed range, turbines are subject to various flow phenomena and uh, loss mechanisms which are dominant in that particular range. For example, as you can see in this specific speed chart, leakage and secondary flows are more dominant in the lower ranges whereas shocks and profile losses take priority in the higher ranges. And in fact, with inverse, inverse design, it's possible to come up with a set of optimal design guidelines based on these fluid dynamic considerations of reducing the dominant flow losses for your turbine. However, when it comes to high-speed turbines, there is usually a trade-off between the aerodynamic and structural aspects of the rotor. And uh, this brings us to our problem statement. Now the design of high speed axial turbines such as those used in aero engine low pressure stages is a complex multidisciplinary problem because the higher rotational speed has conflicting effects on the turbine. So while it does bring efficiency benefits and a reduced number of stages and uh, hence the turbine weight and the overall dimensions, but it increases the average isentropic Mach number which could create shock losses. And, uh, and it also in leads to high stresses in the last stage rotor blade. And so the design of such turbines has to find the right balance between aerodynamic performance and uh, mechanical integrity. And uh, that's why traditional methods often involve large numbers of CFD and FEA runs in order to ensure that the appropriate trade-off is achieved, which consumes a lot of computational time and resources. So the question then is whether it's possible to come up with a rapid optimization methodology focused at suppressing the dominant loss mechanisms but without adversely impacting the stresses in your axial turbine. And uh, this is what we aim to explore through this project.